We're in them streets, them trenches, aka the city of gold, Jersey, Johannesburg. It's South Africa. Hey, ta -da. Ta -da. <laughs> How do you feel about going against the clock, Mr. Problem? I feel stupendous. Stupendous. Um, I'm amazing. Amazing. I feel incredible. Incredible. I feel ready. Phenomenal. How do you feel? Apparently, you're supposed to make a song in 10 minutes. I feel confident. I feel like I'm on top of the world. I am ready. What you can expect is magnificence. Wow. Excellence. Let's go. Mind blowing. Don't stop. <laughs> Greatness. Awe, what's up, everybody? San Bonani. We are Stiff Bap, Stiff Shandies, your girl's favorite boy band, all the way from Johannesburg, South Africa. And shout out Fact Magazine, we are going against the clock. Yeah, boy! The clock! Yes, sir! Let's go. Mm -hmm. Let's try a different set of drums.
in, but... Let's get to that. <laughs> so we can just set it up so that it plays straight from here and... On to the back one. Leave! Just uh, leave! Uh, boom. Loop. told you it takes us four years to make music right now but we did it for you in 10 minutes it was really fun i really enjoyed uh making the song the thing about like making a beat in that, that kind of time is that you really get into it and then you, you kind of just want to keep going and then the time runs out. You kind of just have to cut it there kind of abruptly. I try to stick with the clock as much as possible, check it, but every time I was checking the time, it's, you know, it's eating away at your time. So yeah. it's a bit difficult, but yeah, it was fun. I had a lot of fun doing it. I think that we made a, a cool song. I really enjoyed it. The, the, the vibe that we created. Yeah, and I think that the method that we used to record the song was interesting because everything was recording right from the start, which we don't usually do, but for the purposes of this, I thought that it would help us out. And yeah, I think it worked out quite nicely. Yeah, I think the track was dope. We didn't take it as, I would say, seriously, which is also dope. We are just in the moment, trying to create something. So you get 10 minutes, you focus so much on what you're doing. You block out the outside world and you're really in your element. And I feel like we really were in our element and we did a very groovy track. We keep it quite minimal when it comes to equipment. Me, when I'm at home, I can produce on just my laptop and have my headphones and I'm happy. I don't even need my keyboard. Um, Cause that's how I started, man. When I was in, when I was a student and I was at Res, I couldn't afford any of the stuff that we have on this table. I had my laptop and my headphones, and sometimes I still produce like that because that's like comfortable for me. I want to be able to produce from wherever I am, so I don't really like the formal setup a lot. But yeah, I mean, we used the. I'm literally gonna read what this thing is called because I don't even know what my keyboard is called. Complete it's control. the Complete Control S25. Let's go. Uh, shout out to my homie Nabia for putting me on with this keyboard uh, from Native Instruments. Use my laptop and uh, the DAW that I use is Ableton. Uh, I've got two monitors here, like basic studio monitors. I've got my audio interface, like a microphone and a simple condenser mic. Yeah. I use the APC40 as well to kind of record my samples, but 
it's it's not necessary. I mean, it's something that I usually usually pull out for performances. But I thought that it would be um, easier to kind of record my samples and loop them using the APC. I guess it's an interesting challenge. We've yeah. seen some of the biggest artists in the world do it, and to be asked to do it as South African artists. Personally, I've never heard of another South African artist doing this. After we did uh, our project, Tough Times, we haven't been in the studio for, for a while, like actually recording songs. We've been working on other stuff, but not recording songs. So now it was very nice to get into the studio again, work again. When you were athletes and you haven't played for a while or you haven't ran for a while, you need to you know exercise a bit, play some pickup games, play some games on the side just to just so you can get back to form. So it was kind of nice doing it. I went to the drums, got a drum kit. I just did something that's new to me, but I used them. But I used to just get like individual samples of instruments or whatever. But drum kits, I, I really like using them the way they set up. Uh, it's just something that comes with Ableton, so it's fun. You don't need to buy any extra kits or whatever to do what I did. And they just kind of set up on a piano roll with all the instruments, so like that makes it really easy to just make like a beat with like all the different instruments in one place. I think I added the bass next, something, you know, with some heart, you know. Let's go. Something, you know, something strong. <laughs> tough, tough. <laughs> and then I added a synth. Added like two synthesizers, you know, sprinkled them on there just a little bit. So, yes, that's the beat. <laughs> and then we got to this guy where he recorded his vocals, you know, whilst, whilst the beat was playing. I added some auto tune to his vocals because I think he was trying to sing and. Debatable. Uh, that's what I was trying to say. And I added the auto tune just in case, you know, we never know how that's going to sound, <laughs> never know how that's going to go. Yeah. So, yeah. If you're interested in production, have fun with it. You know, don't take it too serious. Like, don't spend all your money trying to get equipment. Like I said, I started with just my laptop and some headphones. You don't even need headphones, you could use your earphones, bro, just as long as you can hear what you're doing. You don't even need a laptop. Find your mom's old computer, bro. There's people out here making international global hits in their mother's back room with a computer from 2005, bro. In terms of like how you get into it, the way I started, like I watched YouTube videos, you know, literally nobody taught me how to produce. And the hardest part is the beginning. When you're starting out, it's really, really hard. And then you kind of lose that motivation to carry on going because it's so hard. But that's actually the most important part for you to push through. Once you've pushed through that first, those first few beats, once you've made your like, first couple beats and you know how to use the software, everything is smooth sailing from there. And then you know how to make the beats. The most important thing is that you just know how to do it. You know, who cares if you're good or not in the first few songs? Nobody cares, man. Some people still say I suck <laughs> to this day. You know, who cares? It's art, you're creating music. The most important thing is that you like what you're doing, you know? So you're gonna suck, prepare for it. You're gonna suck in the beginning, but push through it and you will get better. <laughs>